waste of muscle magazine. Nowadays, there are plenty of so-called drug-free bodybuilders, those that get off steroids just before a contest just to pass a polygraph test. But few truly lifetime steroid-free athletes look like David Orlando. John Kovic introduces us. Just across the Hudson River lies the Big Apple, New York City. But here in Paramus, New Jersey, a suburb of Hackensack, life is a little quieter, except here at the Orlando residence. Because downstairs, in the basement, there's been something going on. The clink and clatter of weights can be heard as lifetime natural bodybuilder David Orlando trains his world-class physique. But the well-stocked family gym was actually founded 19 years ago by Dave's father, Matthew. I was very impressed with the bodybuilder. I was always a natural little skinny kid, so I uh, decided to pick up weights and I decided to uh, build my own little gym. And back in those days, you had little benches, homemade, so on and so forth, and I joined the YMCA one day and got ideas. So I came in one day and I said to my father, I said, I think I'm going to build my own gym, and I did. And as the years went on, of course, naturally when David was born, I, I just well, wanted him to work out, but never forced him to. I never said to him, Dave, you have to work out. And one day he says, I'm going to work out, Dad. And he did. And I never paid attention. I left him alone. I didn't want to bother him. And what had happened was one day he was training with his friend. That was the music to my ears, the clang of weights with his friends working out. And I never bothered him. And one day he walked up there after working out, and he just went like this. And I saw his potential. I said, oh, my God. So what I did was... When I was discussing with my wife, I took over more and more of the basement. And as you can see, with all the energy and time and work and money, it really paid off. I'm very proud. And Dave makes good use of his private facility, most recently parlaying his dedication into the 1989 United States Natural Bodybuilding Championships. The contest is sanctioned by the American Natural Bodybuilding Conference a dedicated organization at the forefront of natural, drug-tested bodybuilding competitions. Dave ran away with the men's junior division, which included 22-year-olds and younger. He captured the tall division, the most muscular and best poser trophies, and the overall crown. And he did it all completely natural. Since I began bodybuilding, um, I've been natural. And I think that's a, at least a little different theory than most Body, competitive bodybuilders today. Um, I believe in bodybuilding being healthy and healthy not just by looking healthy from the outside, from being healthy from the inside out and projecting that healthy appearance and look in everything you do. One look at Dave's muscular physique and you realize just how hard this 22 year old has worked, avoiding any possible shortcuts offered by anabolic enhancers and enduring a few obvious setbacks. It takes longer to recuperate when you're natural, um, and the diet has to be a lot different. I think I just really hit that on the head for this last competition, because you read all these magazines, and you know you have so many conflicting uh, theories to diet and what works and what doesn't work, but they don't really tell you who's natural and who's not natural. And it's a big, big difference. I found in myself it's an incredibly big difference, the diet aspect. And while Dave places high priority on his diet, even if it is rice and plum baby food, he also emphasizes nutritional supplementation, including the use of the Cybergenics nutrition system in his balanced routine. A supplementation is very important. I don't think it will make you a winner or a loser, though. You know, where some people think you have to take all these supplements and it's going to make you a champion overnight. No, I think it gives you about a 10 to 15 percent edge in terms of endurance, recuperation, and so forth. But when Dave's not in the kitchen, he's down in his domain, in the gym itself, or his connecting bedroom. Lately, it's been the gym where Dave spends his time, and he obviously approaches his training with possessed ambition. I believe in intensity. When I would say intensity builds immensity. So um, I believe the more intense you work out, the better more results. It's not how much weight you lift or how long you're in the gym. It's what you do in a required amount of time that really matters. The same theory carries over into his aerobic training, even when the outside temperature is only 35 degrees. It's all part of keeping his body lean and mean in the off-season, and for Dave, it's the only way to live. I feel very confident about the natural movement. Um, I feel like I'm the bodybuilder of the 90s. 
and I feel that natural bodybuilding has progressed since I began when I was 17. Uh, there was only one bodybuilding contest that was natural. Now there's a real lot of bodybuilding competitions. Um, I see the future holding more emphasis on natural bodybuilders. And I'm willing to put anything into it to make that happen because I really believe in it and I really believe that the public's eye will get a much greater acceptance of bodybuilding if it becomes natural. Realistically, Dave may never make it to the Mr. Olympia competition. And that stems from his staunch decision to remain completely drug-free. But he has the potential to beat many top non-natural competitors on his quest to become the best natural bodybuilder in the world.